Ever try this trick? Turns out, glue can do some crazy stuff to soda. Let's start shaking. Okay, it's almost ready. Bella, let's open mine first. It's like a big orange booger! Wow! I want to play with it too! Gah! Looks like Kevin got you this time. But don't worry, we've got plenty more food tricks coming at ya! Thank goodness it's lunchtime. I've been thinking about this sandwich for hours now. I could eat this stuff all day. A little more won't hurt. There we go. Get ready, taste buds. Things are about to get delicious. Hey! You're supposed to stay in there. I hate feeling all sticky. Gah! I forgot to put those in there. If you hate sandwich overflow, try this hack. Put on the spread just like normal. Then add the second piece of bread. Then cut off all the crust. With a fork, press down all the edges. Don't be afraid to apply some pressure. Now take your little pouch and pop it into the toaster. Once that's done, let it cool for a minute. Then cut it down the middle. And there you have it. Ah, <sighs> spill-free's the way to be. Careful with that knife, Bella. Gah, this is impossible. The shelf's all done. Hey, mind if I snag one of these? I wonder if I can put a spin on this. Whoa! Give me that peeler! Let's speed up this process, shall we? Look at that thing go! Before you know it, the whole thing will be peeled! Looks pretty good, right? This hack saved me an hour! I sure wish I could go outside. I hate being injured. A yummy snack should pass the time. Ugh, these are really salty! My soda! It's probably still cold. Eh. Why is it so far away? Come on, I just want a sip. I've got to have something handy that can help. I forgot about these straws. I'll just fashion my own device. Okay, this should work. Now just a few more straws. We have contact! And now we sip. This is a lazy person's dream. Stuck at home for the afternoon? Then it's time for a binge-a-thon. <laughs> hey! What happened to the power? Come on! Well, we're done watching TV. Life without electricity sucks. Anyone's butt falling asleep yet? Um, at least we have good snacks. Time to switch to something sweet. I'm pretty good at that. Check it out! Wow! Let me try! Yes! 
Let's do it to each other now! Whoops! Found it! I also found measuring tape. You know how to make this more epic? Things are about to get crazy. Mmm, perfect hit. Slides always make things more fun. The answer's… five, I think. Okay, I need some brain food. This thing's fresh. But what do I cut it with? I'll just do it myself. Yeah! Stupid pineapple juice. So much for that. I'll settle for a boring apple. Hey! Ooh, a pineapple? There we go. Who needs a knife? When you can use this trick. Huh? What kind of fruit sorcery is this? Who knew you could pull out chunks? This is genius, Bella. Thank goodness it's Friday. Where'd you get ice cream? Seriously, Bella? I just wanted a taste. Love ice cream and cookies? Then grab a sharp knife like this one and cut the top off the carton. It'll give you the perfect cut for the perfect ice cream sandwich. Someone order one of these? Come to mama. Mmm, the perfect bite. Movie nights are awesome. As long as you have enough snacks. Uh, here. Am I in charge of refills now? Make Kevin do it. You look really great tonight, Kevin. I get it. You want a refill. I'm gonna miss my favorite part. What's this? Nope. This is what I want. Hey, what's wrong with this thing? Now what am I gonna do? Is there anything else good in here? I think I can work with these. For a fun snack. In a pan, mix chocolate candy and popcorn kernels. Then sit back and enjoy the show. The sugar and salt create a game-changing snack. And once the kernels start popping, you know it's almost ready. Is the glass cool yet? Then flip it right over. Pretty smooth, right? Still hungry? Dig right on in. Uh, Kevin? A bag of chips and TV just go hand in hand, don't you think? This show's dumb. I'm changing the channel. Hey, where is that thing anyway? How'd he get all the way over there? I guess I'll just get up off the couch. Ooh, I love these old black and white shows. Well, that was sure a weird sound. What was that? Sophia, you just crushed all my potato chips with your butt! Aw, oh, man. Still had, like, half that bag left. Now they're just a bunch of crumbs. Sorry, Vicky. I didn't think there'd be a bag of chips just laying on the couch. Whoa. 
Vicky is clearly ticked off. I wish there was a way I could bring these chips back to life for poor Vicky. After you pop in some chopped up red onion and cilantro, tomato chunks and cheese, crack a couple of eggs and drop them right into the bag. Fold the bag a bit so it's closed and shake it to mix everything together. Then put the bag into a small pot of boiling water. After about 10 minutes or so, take the bag out, using tongs as not to burn yourself. Once it's cooled down a bit, dump the contents onto a cutting board. Once you've chopped it up into square pieces, like this, put toothpicks in them for easy grabbing. Ooh, ketchup? Great idea! Pretty soon, you'll be hoping your bag of chips gets crushed. Vicky, come get your snacks! It's ready! I'm about to give you something so good it'll slap that frown right off your face. Come on, give it a try. It looks… interesting. Holy smokes, this is one of the best things I've ever tasted! When you're hanging out with your bestie, not much can get you down. Unless, of course, you run out of your very favorite popcorn. Am I all done already? Too bad these kernels didn't pop. I'd have way more to eat if they did. You're not thinking about using the heat from Vicky's hair straightener, are you? No, you can have it. Sorry. Aw, come on, share your hair tool with Sophia. She'll give it back when she's done. Things are about to get poppin' in here. If you have some unpopped kernels, try putting them in here. Think it'll pop like it would in the microwave? Uh-oh, it looks like something's bubbling in there. Did you see that? It actually worked! I can't believe it! Here, you do the honors, Vic. Well, that wasn't very nice, now was it, Sophia? Don't worry, there are plenty more where that came from. How about that? You got a snack refill without ever having to get up off the couch. It's time for a little afternoon snack. And cheese toast is just what the doctor ordered. Just gonna pop these suckers in the toaster and they'll be ready in no time. Man, this toast is sure taking a while. Okay, this toast should definitely be ready by now. Maybe the bread's stuck in there or something. Hey, bread? You okay in there, little buddy? What the heck was that? What happened, Vicky? I was just looking to see why my toast wasn't popping up, and all of a sudden I heard a boom! Oh man, I'm so glad you're okay. But now our toaster's broken and I'm still starving. Well, you know what? We may not need a new toaster just yet. After laying down some tin foil, lay down your favorite slice of bread on top of it. Once you add your favorite cheese, add on another piece of bread. Now fold up the foil, completely enveloping the sandwich. Once you've done that, press your iron right onto the foil. Then you can flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Once it's done, let it cool for a second before you touch it. Okay, it's go time! Check it out! It's perfectly toasted grilled cheese! Better cut it in half before the cheese cools off. Now let's get some of that melted cheese action. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Vicky, your snack is ready. You take the first bite. Well, you sure saved the day this time, Sophia. I'm so glad I decided to stop at my favorite hot dog place on my way home. Oh, hey Vicky, what you got there? A hot dog? Meh, they're not really my thing. But I'm pretty hungry. I wonder what I should eat for lunch. Chicken? Ooh, tacos could be kind of fun. Meh, I already had that last night. Oh, pancakes! That would totally hit the spot! Hey there, Vicky. Having trouble with that ketchup bottle? All right, time to pour in the batter. I think I'm gonna make big ones this time. Whoops. Missed the pan there. Well, these are gonna look… uh… interesting. Seriously? You're still trying to get ketchup out of that thing? Hold on a minute. I just had the most brilliant idea! Have an empty ketchup bottle? Rinse it out with water so it's clean. Once you've done that, you can pour pancake batter in it. Put in as little or as much as you'd like, depending on how much you're making. Well, that's sure a lot of batter. Screw on the cap and you're good to go. Now you can avoid the mess by dispensing just the right amount of pancake batter every time. Whoa, this is gonna be a big one. Okay, it's just about time to flip it over. 
Nicely done! And before you know it, you'll have a whole stack of those bad boys. Whoa, is that entire plate just for you, Sophia? Hey, Vicky, you want some of these? I made plenty! Hey, girls! Looks like your lunch is finally here! And it looks pretty tasty! Let's dig in, shall we? Mmm, that's so good! Well, I guess I'd better have one, right? Wait, which finger should these sit on again? Well, I can just use them like this. Come on. Come on. No! I hate these stupid chopsticks. Don't cry, Vicky. I'll teach you a little trick, okay? Put the chopsticks against your nose like this. Turn it around and break it down the middle. Now they're smaller and easy to use, see? Wow, they're still attached so I won't drop them! Alright, sushi, get ready to go into my belly! Cheers! After a day of traveling, it's easy to feel more exhausted than ever. Man, I never want to go on an airplane again. I haven't had anything to eat for hours. I wonder if I have any snacks left in here. Hmm, is that what I think it is? I guess this could work, but it has a giant hole in it. Hey, an electric water heater. Alright, I know what to do. If you have some instant noodles like these but can't use the cup, put the noodles directly into the electric water heater pitcher. Next, pour in the fresh water. And be sure not to forget the flavor packet. Time to shut the lid and heat things up. After a few minutes, you should have yourself some hot noodles. Mmm, that smells so good! Let me just get a little situated here. Yes! A whole batch of noodles all for me! Don't have a bowl? No problem. You can eat it right out of the pitcher. Delicious! Man, these enchiladas are harder to make from scratch than I thought. Perhaps I have to just get more in the spirit of things. A little weird, but hey, whatever works for you, Vicky. And right after you're done dancing, you can get going on the guacamole. And I've got my avocados right here. Okay, looks like you've got all the other ingredients handy. Pretty soon I'm gonna have some killer nachos! Wait a second, Sophia's gonna be home in five minutes? I don't think I can finish cooking all this before that! Is there anything in here that can help me? One of these bags could be good. Oh yeah, this will definitely get the job done! In a big plastic bag like this one, pour in all the ingredients you need to make guacamole. Once they're all in there, seal up the bag tight. Now comes the super fun part, squishing it all with your hands. Use your fingers to really mash the avocado and rub the ingredients together. Once you're done mashing, push all the guac towards the bottom of the bag. But instead of opening the seal, cut a small hole in the corner of the bag. This way, you can dodge messes as you pour the guacamole into your serving bowls. Let the dipping begin! Hold on a second. Now that's better. Hey, this is pretty good. Is that Sophia? I'd better go invite her into the fiesta! Some good sleep. Is this new? Hope you have milk in here. And I'm gonna use a big bowl today. Or any bowl for that matter. Oh man! How am I supposed to eat this stuff now? I guess breakfast is a no go. Unless I think outside the box. Or rather, inside this box. Pierce a hole at the bottom of the box and carefully cut the front off. Now move the scissors to the bag inside. Pour in the milk. And you've got yourself a bowl, baby! It's finally time to eat! Whoa, way to conquer breakfast, Vicky. Got enough room for two in there? Who needs bowls anyway? Cinnamon's my favorite combo. Especially when you use it to bake. Just a dash of milk. Oh, excuse me. 
This fresh pot's calling my name! Don't mind me, I'm just stirring away. Or rather, whisking away. Gah! The coffee machine! This stuff really flies! How do I even clean this? It's too hot to touch! Which may have worked in my favor. It's like a little pancake griddle! Who knew? It probably tastes good, too. Oh yeah, pass the oil. We're kicking this thing into high gear. Who knew this thing could be so versatile? And who doesn't love mini pancakes? Whoa, look at this guy go! Time to flip! Very nice. Can we speed this up? We're hungry. Okay, it's looking just about ready. We're getting a pretty good stack going here. My mouth is seriously watering. Tell me about it. Thanks. Now let's dig right in. These may look small, but boy do they have big flavor! Did someone order some cupcakes? Ooh, I'd better try one. Make sure it's not poison or anything. Can I fit it all in my mouth? Mmm. Vicky, make sure you remember to breathe. Don't mess with Vicky when she's eating cupcakes. So good! And there's a perfect amount of sweet. <laughs> What's so funny? Did I get some on my face? Ah, hello, frosting. Thanks for the tip. Why do cupcakes have to be so messy? I think I have a solution. In one swift move, you can have yourself a cupcake sandwich. Now the frosting is nice and secured. And it still tastes like heaven. That's seriously brilliant, Bella! One little twist! And poof! Sandwich time! Oh yeah, that's good stuff! Cheers, girl! Talk to you later! This juice is really good. Ah! Hey, Vicky! I don't think I've ever been this thirsty. Think you could pour me some juice? Looks like I drank the last of it. Sorry, Vicky, but it's all gone. But I'm so parched! I don't know what to tell ya. Apples? Hold tight, Vicky, I gotcha. I just need a little bit of time, okay? First, put a couple of apples in the freezer. Huh? Just give it some time. Do your thing for a bit, okay? She'll thank me later. And now I wait. Music always passes the time. I'm knocking you down, Mr. Apple! It's about time! How you doing in there, apples? Yep, it's frozen all right. Once it's defrosted, you'll notice it's a bit softer. That means it's time to start juicing. And with your bare hands, no less. Look at all that delicious juice! Nothing like fresh apple juice, right? Vicky's gonna love this. Cheers to me! Oh my gosh, Bella! That looks so yummy! I love fresh squeezed juice! That's the most refreshing thing ever! We're never buying store-bought juice again! One of the best things about summer is corn on the cob. Vicky, dinner's ready! Come on! You made corn? Don't mind if I do! Uh-oh. We've got a problem here. It's probably best if I sit this one out. My orthodontist would kill me. Aw, you can't eat corn with me? Not with this metal mouth. It's not fair. I'm sorry. Want one of these? They're good! It's no corn on the cob, that's for sure. 
And it doesn't have the same juiciness. Just look at that bite. I'm just left with a stick. Actually, maybe this thing can come in handy. Let me see this thing. What if I stick the skewer all the way through? Ha! The kernels pull right off! Oh yeah. Whoa! You don't need braces to appreciate this hack. You have a little something in your teeth, Bella. Well, this girl's night sure is going well. <laughs> Who's this? What? Alex wants to call it quits? What did I do? I'm the best girlfriend ever! He texted me, see? I can't believe this is over! <laughs> I don't deserve this! Thank goodness I have ice cream. The spoons! It's all okay. You just need to stuff your face, alright? Take a bite. Okay. Uh, how long has this been frozen, Bella? Nothing's going right in my life! I can fix this! Melt ice cream, melt! Ah! I think I know what will work. Some water? Ow! That's hot. Which is exactly what we want. Just submerge the ice cream in the hot water. That should do it. Vicky's gonna have some relief in no time. Yes! That's some creamy goodness right there. Here you go, Vic. Eat as much as you want, okay? Mm, this is the full fat stuff. Here, you have some too. This ice cream will have you better in no time. Lily! You brought home some snacks! No, what? These aren't for you. You're greedy, you know that? Whatever. Hee hee hee. Mm -mm. Can't see me now, can you? Luckily, she can't hear me back here. Am I a genius or what? Whoa, don't turn around! Huh? Where do my chips go? Ugh, I bet Jared's behind this! She's not wrong! Stay tuned! More brilliant food hacks are coming your way! I can't believe we got the last cake! Sure hope he likes it! You hear that? Never mind. I almost forgot! Party hat! The perfect finishing touch! Cute sign, right? Thoughtful details really make for a party atmosphere. Soda's ready! Just about done here! Aw, it looks so great in here! One more thing! <laughs> We'd better light the candles! You hear him coming? Oh, we gotta go! No! This way! Oh, the cake! I just took a chunk out of it! What's going on? Oh, is this all for me? <sighs> Happy birthday! Wow! A spoon? Cake in a glass? What a treat! You guys are so creative! <laughs> yep! Cheers! Turns out, cake in a glass is a hit! Nutella on bread. Is there anything better? A little candy could kick it up a notch. No such thing as too much chocolate. Oh yeah! Let's sandwich this thing up! Ooh! Mmm-mmm! So sweet! That was the best thing ever! But I've still got room for more! Lily? What did I say about sweets? Only one at a time! How about some greens? No, dad! 
They're good for you. You're a growing girl, you know. You'll thank me later. I don't know about that. Ugh. I feel like a rabbit or something. But dad doesn't know about my secret stash. Sugar, baby! I feel bad. Why do I let him get to me? Or perhaps I can compromise. I've got an idea! Take a slice of bread and use a glass to make a hole in it. Kinda like a cookie cutter. Do this to a few pieces in the loaf. Now you can pour your candy in! It's the perfect hiding spot! And don't forget the top piece! He's coming back! Tastes so much better, right? Mm-hmm. Ugh, it tastes like dirt! Gross! Good thing I've got this! Now this is what I call a healthy diet! I'm gonna blow everyone away with this delicious dinner! It's all about using fresh ingredients! Ooh! Ah, smells like the chicken's ready! So delicious! Ooh, a little drier than I intended. It'll still taste okay, though. I think I can fix this. Oh, why didn't my timer go off? Ugh, you did me dirty, stupid alarm clock! I've gotta think fast! I got it! I'm brilliant! Hello? I'd like to make an order, please? Thanks! Oh, so fast! Thanks so much! Ooh, smells way better than mine! Isn't this a beauty? On my plate, it looks like my creation! Oh, my guest! Ugh! Something smells good in here! <gasps> For me? I made it myself. It's hot, be careful! Mmm! Ooh! Uh, a little messy there, huh? You could say that. I think I've had enough. It tasted good, though! Hey! Let me show you a trick! Ready? Take a tortilla and slice it halfway, like this. Then add different things to each quarter. It can be toppings or condiments. Then fold each quarter like this. One fold at a time. Last one! Perfect! Now it's totally spill-free! Here! So yummy, right? You'll never eat tacos the same way again! Ugh, how am I gonna get all this done? Okay, I think I'm getting it now. Ugh, stupid pencil! Who am I kidding? I don't know what I'm doing! At least my coffee's strong. Okay, focus! I actually know the answer to this one! I'm doing it! I think the answer's B. Coffee refill! Now we're talking! Mmm. <sighs> oh, I can't even see straight. <sighs> oh, I don't have time to get tired. Must keep eyes open. Oh. <gasps> My work! It's soaked! What a disaster! I'm such a klutz! Refill time! What happened in here? You spilled coffee on all of it? Oh, you poor thing! I wish I could help you. Actually, maybe I can. Give me your mug. My chip lid fits right on it. That ought to save you another accident. Where was I? No! Hey, this thing didn't spill! 
Lily is really onto something here! Keeps it warm, too! If only she could solve this problem! Ever wish you could elevate your eating experience? Get your appetites ready because we've scrounged up some seriously awesome food hacks you didn't even know you needed. Hey Lily, what's up? Mind if I snag one of these Oreos? And what would a cookie be without an ice-cold glass of milk to dip it in? <sighs> okay, stay calm. Okay, let's try it this way, shall we? Dipping it ever so carefully… Nope, that didn't work either. Okay, whoever designed these tall glasses clearly didn't know what they were doing. Big ol' glass of cookie milk, anyone? Man, could this day get any worse? Oh, look how sad Kevin is. I wish I could cheer him up. Hey, Kevin, I think I found just the thing to help you with your little cookie conundrum. Stick a regular fork into the side of the cookie like this. Now you can dip it right into the glass without your fist getting in the way. You can just call me the dipping master. I kinda know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, just the right amount of milk. Everyone knows going to the movies is all about the snacks. Too bad you have to buy them there. See, you can't bring any food from home into the theater. It's a harsh reality, but you've gotta follow the rules, right? Stupid rules. Ticket for one. Or rather, two, I guess. Aw, look at that little baby bump. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize you were with child. Please, go right on in. <sighs> that was easy. But little did that ticket clerk know, this child was nothing but a big ball of sugar. Yes! Mission movie snackage complete! Hey Kev, wanna turn that frown upside down with a little treat? Uh, yeah. Thanks, Lily. You're the best! And don't I know it. Uh, it's finally lunchtime. I thought this hour would never come. Let's pour on the dressing and get this party started. Ick! Why does this stuff always have to be so messy? And then when it comes time to mix things up, it gets even messier. Come on, seriously? Hey Lily, why the long face? It's lunchtime after all. The best part of the day! But unlike Lily, Kevin has his own clever way of pouring on his salad dressing mess-free. Simply use the container to squeeze the dressing pouch. Once it's out, keep the lid closed and shake things up to make sure that dressing gets on every last bite. Now that's some salad perfection. I wish you had shown me that a few minutes earlier, Kevin. School's out and it's time to finally relax. Just a few more of these sticks and my art project is finished. Kevin, look at this dog! He's juggling! Oh man, you got your Cheeto dust all over me! Way to be gross, Lily. That's the one downside to cheesy snacks. Cheeto fingers. Ew, I feel so grimy now. Hey, can I borrow one of those for a sec? Can't you see I'm working here? Uh-oh, careful, Lily. You don't want to knock anything over. Success! Nicely done, girl! Now you can enjoy your favorite Cheeto snacks without sacrificing your clean hands. Gotcha, sucker! Now get in my mouth, stat! Hey, if a girl's got a snack, a girl's got a snack, right? Oh, sweet chocolate. How I've missed you. Anybody think they can solve this problem? Anyone? Lily, why don't you take a stab at it? Looks like that bite will have to wait. Stupid math. Always getting in the way of having fun. Little does Lily know she probably should have put her chocolates away. Yep, Kevin's definitely got his eye on it. She won't notice if I snag a little piece, will she? Kevin, get your hands off my chocolate! I was just making sure I was safe, that's all. My hands are busy writing, see? Boy, I'm watching you. Well, that clearly didn't work. Maybe I'll just rearrange some things to cover my tracks. See, if you cut it this way, you can actually make it look like you took nothing. Pretty clever, right? Yes, she'll never know I snuck a piece. She's coming back! Act cool! 
Man, that equation was a doozy. You didn't take any of my chocolate, did you? What? No! Of course not! Well, she'd better not look too closely or she'll learn your little secret. Let's see, vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla it is! What are you waiting for, Kevin? Pop that sucker open! Oh yeah, it smells amazing! I'm digging in! Uh, where did my spoon go? Well, no spoon means no yogurt. Maybe I can just pour the stuff into my mouth? Or use the trusty old finger spoon! Hey Kev, what you up to? Did you get me some yogurt too? Thanks! I've been so hungry all day! Um, where's my spoon? Eh, no biggie. I can work around it. Hey, this looks like Lily's forgotten her spoon before. She's folding that thing like it's second nature. Whoa! Where'd you learn how to do that, Lily? I just figured my finger was the only option. Ugh. Here, want me to show you how to make a spoon out of a lid? Simply fold the circular lid into a triangle shape like this. Take the bottom and fold it upward. Manipulate the bottom so that you can hold it sturdy while the top serves as the spoon. Voila! Now you never have to eat off those dirty fingers again. Oh man, this is totally life-changing. Okay, can I finish my story now? Is there anything better than sharing a snack with a buddy? Well, if Kevin is your snacking buddy, you may not feel that way. Huh? How did we go through these so fast? Oh, that's how. Kevin's taking massive handfuls of the stuff. I think I may have a solution to this very annoying problem. Start with putting double-sided sticky tape on your favorite treats. Like this Mars bar. Once the tape is on, go ahead and stick it right onto your t-shirt. This way, you'll never have to get up to get another snack. It'll be right there for you to grab. And while you're at it, you may as well add all your favorite candies and snacks for super easy access. Alright, that ought to do it. Here comes the scariest part of the movie. What was that? Run for the hills. It's the almighty snack attack! What the? I gotta hide! I sure hope it doesn't see me. Little does Kevin know, it's just Lily, coming back to see how this thriller ends. Looks like you're in the clear, Kevin. Man, it's tight back here. Oh, phew, it was just Lily. Where'd you get all these awesome snacks? You even have a Mars bar? That's my favorite! Aw, that was awfully nice of you, Lily. And it's no problem, you have plenty more snacks to go around. It's always nice when you have time to sit down and enjoy your breakfast. With a fresh jar of jelly, no less. Ugh, is this thing glued shut? Gah! Why won't you open? Gah! I just wanna eat you! Whoa, what's wrong? This stupid jar. Apparently you need to be bulk to open it. Maybe you just need a little help. Watch and learn. This duct tape is gonna save the day. Wrap the tape around the lid. Once it's secure, pull the end. I can't believe it! Thanks! You probably loosened it. Or maybe I'm stronger than I thought. No fear, boys and girls. No lid is a match for Super Vicky. Huh? You want a piece? Thanks. I love this flavor. 
Lunch is here. And these salads look delicious. Let's dig in. Hmm. Could use a little flavor. Is anything coming out? Come on. Anybody home in there? Maybe it's time to give up, Thick. There is an easier way to do that. Just let the salt help you out. Simply rub it on these bumps. The vibration loosens the clog at the hole. And let there be flavor. Salt and pepper will never be the same. You're a restaurant whiz, Lana. Still studying, Lana? Vicky! I'm starved. But I can't stop studying for this test. I think I can whip something up for you. What's a good studying snack? What am I working with here? Go big or go home, right? Thank goodness for these sugary sodas. What on earth? Are you cooking for a family of four, Vicky? I did ask for just one snack, right? Vicky does have a habit of overmeasuring ingredients. Whoa. I definitely overdid it. Oh, I can't go through that again. Hey, let me show you a trick. This bottle is the perfect measuring tool. This is enough for one serving. In you go! Second guessing is a thing of the past. But we're not done yet. A little sauce and a garnish go a long way. Can you believe this is the same amount? This trick is a cooking game changer. If cutting onions is such an easy task, why do you cry every time you do it? My eyes! They just can't help it. Ugh, I can do this. No, I can't. So good. Is Vicky crying in there? What the heck happened? This bread ought to make things better. Turns out, holding bread in your mouth helps you get rid of the onion blues. See? No tears. It's a miracle! Gotta love carbs, right? Hey! Milk's in the fridge. But just because it's cold doesn't mean it hasn't spoiled. Ick. Is the worst taste ever. Was it that bad? Oh yeah, this stuff's gross. I'm gonna run to the store, okay? All right, I'm back with the goods. And I checked all the expiration dates. what milk's supposed to taste like. Oh! Mind leaving that out? If you don't want it to spoil, sprinkle in a bit of salt. Okay, quite a bit of salt. Well, that was the weirdest thing ever. You can thank me later, Vic. Let's go. Yawn! Mm, time for the most important meal of the day. Still good? Tastes fine to me. I owe Lana a big thank you for this trick. 
the cookies are done. <sighs> Let's let these puppies cool off now. Those look great, Lana. They turned out pretty good. But they still need some frosting. So it's a little runny. Who cares? There you go. This isn't right. Oh man. Can you really kick lids off bottles? Do that? Only one way to find out! Let's do this! Yeah! Ow! What was that? Where'd this come from? You missed it! I did the cap kick challenge! Can I keep this? Let's warm it up first. That way we can poke a stick through it. Cut off the end and you've got a spout. And since I took the cap, I'll take the bottle too. Go ahead and fill it up with the frosting. Once it's full, screw the lid back on. Way to recycle, ladies. Now to see if it actually works. Yep. It squeezes out perfectly. No ugly globs here. They're almost too pretty to eat. Look at these cool designs! 